What up, peeps? This is Nez, and I'm dropping another impromptu review on y'all. <clears throat> and this time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the BAM, another pair of Pock Buds Bluetooth open earbuds. Now, my last review of Pock Buds were these right here, okay? Now, in that video, I said that it's hard for me to really judge these earbuds because it's my first pair of open earbuds and and i've had some really bad connection issues with this set right here and i attribute it to the open ear standard being in its infancy and i said that i needed to get some more whether it be from the same brand or a different brand just to see if it was just a one-off with this one or if that's a thing with the open ear standard which i can't see how that possibly be a thing with the open ear standard for the simple fact that they still run off the same bluetooth architecture whereas it connects and when it connects it should stay connected it shouldn't matter the style so to speak of earbuds whether it goes in your ear canal or sits on the outside of your canal and produces the sound that shouldn't matter because the connection is the connection regardless so i said you know what i'm gonna try to find another reasonable price pair because you know i'm all about the budget so i found these which also happen to be um pock buds earbuds as you see the case is a lot different I just want to point out that I know that you saw on this pair and sorry, my radar detector is going off in my car and this pair that I had a rubber band around them. And that's one of the things that I wanted to address in this video. I'll get to that later. So let's just get to these earbuds real quick. But before we do that, why don't you go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button and also hit that like button. If you feel so inclined if i'm giving you valuable information you, it would really help me out a lot and share this video with anyone who you think could use this information let's just get into the video now okay these are them right there the price of these are 49 dollars. now when i bought them there was a 45 percent off coupon which brought these down to like 29 dollars and I said that for like $29, <clears throat> these, you know, are okay. And I'm going to just get, hit, get right, hit. I'm just going to hit the ground running and say that these are leaps and bound better than these. <clears throat> First of all, the main reason why you would use earbuds is for the connection. All right. It stays connected. All right. So right off the bat, no connection issues. I've put it through the paces. I've walked around the house, stayed connected. I walked out in front of my house, stayed connected. It, you know, I got a, I got a good, you know, I got the, at least the 33 feet that it's, that's promised, but I, maybe I got a little bit more, you know, I walked around my pool in the backyard, which is around 40 feet away from where I left the, um, <clears throat> my device and it stayed connected and this is with my phone not the tablet because I, I did mention that the tablet gets a better connection to bluetooth than my phone but you know i left my phone and i walked around i stayed connected and the reason why i know that i was more than 33 feet is because my watch which always my smart watch which always disconnects between 30 and 33 feet it disconnected but my i didn't hear the disconnected prompt in my ear which led me to believe that this was still connected and it was beyond the 33 feet. So, but shortly afterwards, I did get disconnected a little further away. So I'm gonna say between 33 and 40 feet, somewhere, you know, in the 40 feet range, it disconnected, which is which is what they're supposed to do. That's what they're rated for, all right? Let's open this up so you can see what it looks like. One-handed operation, just kind of bear with me. Now, now to open this up, I had to unzip it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. <clears throat> one's already in there, one's in my ear. Let's just get it right out the 
get it get it out the way now and let you see what it looks like in my ear <clears throat> see that's what it looks like in my ear and I love the fact that it has this little band right there or I should say hook and that hooks around my ear so it's not taking up a lot of space and it actually feels a lot more comfortable than the other pock butts and then it just sits right in my ear like so bong all right so minimal case when you plug it in the light there's a light right there in the middle that lights up let you know it's charging and that's it there's no gauge on there to let you know how much it's charging whatever it's red while it's charging it's green when it's fully charged bong these each of these bulbs get about nine to ten hours on a charge so that will last me the majority of the day so when i put it in the morning when i wake up depending on how much i'm on it listening to music or talking on the phone it it would last me all day it's not like the other ones my uh my standards like i told you i'm going to do a review of this one my standards it doesn't matter i wake up in the morning i put these on and no matter what i do i'm talking on the phone watching videos you know whatever it's just sitting in my ear all day long and when i go to sleep at night sometimes i fall asleep in, at night and it's in my ear and and i wake up in the middle of the night it's still connected and sometimes the next morning it's still connected and and it probably has like 20 or 30 percent left on it so these like i said 18 hours of act uh, connected activity these you're getting nine to ten hours which is great you know for all day <clears throat> I, I put it in the morning i talk on the phone i watch some videos at night i take it off put it back in the case to charge and then i'm i'm good this right here there's the 45 percent off is gone but they have 15 percent off on it now so you can get 15 percent off it which brings it down to like maybe like 38 dollars something like the 30 you know 39 dollars so uh, i mean it's definitely these are definitely better than than these i mean sorry not these than these pock buds so i'm gonna say if you had to choose between the two i would choose this one over over these definitely definitely be if you're going for pock buds open here the sound is you know i explained the whole sound thing before how in a room full of noise you're not going to really hear them that hear them that well which is synonymous with any earbuds unless you're shoving them directly in your ear but in a room where you have average noise sounds maybe tv's on a little bit you have a couple you know you you have your kids playing and you're not overly rambunctious you're going to hear them just fine so oh i wanted to touch on the whole rubber band situation the rubber band situation is it serves two purposes one to keep the case closed so that way i don't have to worry about when i drop it the case popping open and then the buds flying out of the place which has happened and that's with any of these and that's why on all my earbuds i have a rubber band on them here's a here's a, another one right here that i'm also going to review this is the other standard one that i was telling you that is also the standard so these two earbuds i'm gonna do reviews on them these are really good earbuds but they're in-ear earbuds anyway have our bands on them because when you drop them you know a lot of times the case flies open the earbuds are you know flying all over the place a lot of times it's underneath a spot where it's hard to access and now you're trying to fish stuff out um these right here i like these because it's actually a zipper oh yeah for, real quick the second reason why I have rubber band on the earbuds is for grip. So when they're in my pocket, it's least likely that they're gonna slide out of my pocket by accident when I put my hand in my pocket. So dual purpose, to keep the case closed and also to minimize the slidage, okay? And that's where this one comes into play. This, I like this, this is my first pair that actually had a zipper on them and it's like a felt material so when you put it in your pocket it's going to grip your pocket it's not sliding anywhere and it has the zipper so if it does fall out for some reason it's it's not opening up because it's zipped closed and the case is like it's not soft but it's like a uh it's like a felt material or i don't know how to explain that material 
it's it's that felt material it's the same case that the same material that they put on gopro cases that material so it feels soft on the outside on the outside or i should say not hard on the outside it actually has it actually has grip when you hold it and if, if it were to fall, it would kind of cushion the landing. So I feel more comfortable with the earbuds in this case than in this case or any case of the sort. So now we've been talking over 10 minutes, another long earbud review. I'm gonna say it's, it's worth it. Um, not at this price. I would definitely wait until you get a better coupon that's just because I don't like paying more than 30 bucks for, you know, these earbuds anyway. So take it if you will. If you think $40, you know, with the coupon is a good price for this, then get it because they're good earbuds. These are definitely better than these. These are definitely better than these, which is this right here. I will drop the link in the description down below. Definitely cop that if you can catch a good deal on them. I'm Nez, and this has been the impromptu review of the Pock Buds, I don't even know which version this is. Doesn't even say the version on it. Well, another review of Pock Buds earbuds. Cop those, links will be in the description down below. And I'm out this piece.